what is up everyone today we're going to be doing episode number two in habit mode to the game with this poor fps kit um so in the last uh, episode what we did is we uh basically set up our scene for uh creation of our game <clears throat> now basically what we have to do is we have to kind of give our game a bit more story and backstory and stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create new modes so first thing we're going to do here is let's look up to the table. And we're just going to drag the table kind of over here. And we will put that right there. And we'll go ahead and we will put a lamp right there. Prefab, light. Let's put a lamp right there. And I kind of want it to be switched on. So it's going to be switched on right then. Let's put that right there. Oops, I should have used that. So there we go, it's right there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and prefab, we'll click on interactive, uh, and we'll click on examinable, and then papers, and we're just gonna drag this paper right here. Now, so the fun part about this is that, so um, Thunderwire has actually basically made an entire really easy, really simple script here. Uh, which basically works for most interactable items. So, if we actually go ahead and lower my volume, no more Billy Eilish guys. Uh, anyway, so you'll see we can actually go over here, press Q to examine, and we can examine this. And it actually surprisingly works with basically every single uh, object, which is weird. Like, watch if we apply it to this lamp, like it'll work kind of. Like, I was like, watch. So now we can examine the lamp. You see, like, it actually has a lot of fluidity to it, which is really good. I'm really happy that he included something like that. Because not a lot of asset steps actually will include really basic things like that. Um, but anyway, so you'll see we have this. We press E to read it. All right, we're glad you blah, 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 blah. Hey, whatever. Anyways. Anyway, so basically, let's go ahead and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and delete that. And... So, the fun thing that Thunderwire actually did is he included these as, uh, oh, maybe he didn't, uh, he did it first. <clears throat> Where is it? I know he used to, I'm not sure if they are anymore. There it is, so he actually included this little thingy here which has the material textures and it has them as PSDs. Ignore that, that's from my game. I don't know why it's in here. That's also from my game. I don't know why it's in there. But um actually oh I should have kept that. Anyways, um So anyways if you actually have Photoshop you can double click here like this and it'll actually say you don't have the fonts, whatever, which we'll just we don't need to resolve that right now. Um, but basically, we're just going to disable that there. And that. And that. Uh, well, not that, actually. We can kind of leave that one. But anyways, um, basically, we have this entire, like, cool thing here. So, uh, let's start off by making our note. Uh, I'm using Photoshop. I'm not sure if it'll work with GIMP, but I uh, know Photoshop does. So, I'll actually include... No, I won't. I can't. Need to. Um, I don't know. You guys will have to figure something out. But um, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna select this kind of thingy here. Actually, uh, Thunderwire includes these PSDs here, which are actually really helpful. Which you'll see if I go ahead and remove them. I slowly capture some of my window capture here. You'll see that you can open these up inside of uh this, and you'll see there's a just a lot of edits you can do. Uh, I, I, I wrote I wrote a letter to Jeff uh, telling him I can't wait to rest upon my eight night. I don't know. So anyway, so basically now we'll just go ahead and we'll find this paper A4 uh, material, which I don't know. Uh, but instead, we'll actually what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and drag our paper like that. And then we'll just have to... So we'll have to... Basically, um, 
Oh. 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 Okay. Well, they don't need to know. That was stupid. I probably should. Uh, interactive. Okay. Interactive examinable papers. Paper bent. Is that the right one? What the heck? Where are these correct ones? Um, where are they? Alright. Pretty sure that's actually the right one. So, um, I must have deleted it. Yeah, what's it called on accident? Whoopsies. Anyway, so, paper, asset packs. I don't know where a lot of his things are. Well, we'll just press circle here and search for our paper. Paper text copy. Yeah, there we go. So now we have this here, which we are going to press put this to zero and then to zero again. And then we'll just flip that like that. And now we have a little note, so we'll go ahead and save that. Now we can run over here. We can run over here. Oh, look at that a note. But you'll see it's actually gonna flip on that side, so we'll have to fix that real quick actually. So it's going to uh blah, 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 what's the word for it? Let's set that to one hundred and eighty degrees. Um so it's gonna flip it like this when it says uh Face, rota face rotation here. So we'll just go ahead and set the Y to 180 and it should work perfectly. Pretty sure anyways. Uh, if not, let's fix it a bit more. So you see, yeah, there we go, like that. Uh, let's go ahead and maximize that real quick. So now, uh, you'll see it doesn't say anything. It'll like, like say what we want it to. Dear Jeff, I find you as beautiful as the day I met you, sir. I long for the day when I shall rest my head upon thy ear. Uh, don't question. <laughs> I don't need that. Uh, if we go over here, let's just go ahead and the best way I, I found to do this is to just copy like that. Go back into Unity and say, Dear Jeff, comma, enter, and we'll just put that there. And then just basically you just like look at it. And so then you just uh, put the uh, indent, or not indents, you want to put the enters. You want to basically create a new line where it looks like you need it. So the day um my head upon thy ear now it should be good we want to go ahead and click save here and we will go over here and now we can examine we press e to read dear jeff i find you as beautiful as the day i'm not going to read it go back okay anyways yep anyways there we go so now that is basically all you have to do to create a new um, note inside of it. And this actually works for everything, including postcards or any examinable object. And I'll actually just show you guys what I mean kind of here. Um, like if you go ahead and create a small cube, like, like let's create a little robot. Let's like, uh, let's like create a little robot with, we'll use Pro Builder. So go ahead and click Pro Builder here. We're just going to use the cube. Okay, we're going to use the modeling type system for real reasons. So we're going to create a cube here. Press F. We'll go ahead and make sure our scroll speed is a little bit lower. So then, we're going to create a little body here. Duplicate that. That'll be his little neck. Actually, I don't want to have, you don't want to have like meshes under other mes meshes, so we're going to go robot, and then we'll just drag this guy right here, like that. Then, uh, a lot of times when you have meshes under other meshes, it doesn't kind of break. So then we'll just have, kind of like that, except for that and change. Maybe a little less. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Two F's in there. 
And then I'll just get rid of that. I, I, I'm not a fan of Pro Builder, if you haven't been able to tell. Uh, okay. I just, I don't know how to use it that well. And boom. We have a little robot guy here. He can rotate around and stuff. Okay. Hold on, let's get this thing in there. Okay, we don't want to use that as soon. I think it said I'd use a single one. Do we still have it? No, we can't. Okay. Well, oh, that's kind of annoying. Okay, well, uh, we'll do here. We'll grab that there. Something like that. Okay. Now you may be, you may be curious as to what I'm doing here. What I'm do what I uh, what I'm doing is I'm making it so that the robot's root object will actually be closer to the actual robot, and so that it'll just basically act better. There we go, like that. So now we'll go ahead and we'll add that uh, examinable script here, like that. Um, object. We can do an advanced object. No, we'll do regular object. And, um, do we have a squeak sound? We do. Wait. Not fancy. I mean, <laughs> no, it's not what I want. Um, grab. Hmm. Pick up. Okay, I kind of. Um, that's fine. I feel like. Okay, so now, um, we need to actually have a box collider on here. Actually, so we'll create a little box collider here, and then just put point one by point one by point one, and. Uh, we want to make sure make sure that it's actually somewhat lineable here. And so one thing you're actually gonna notice is if you go ahead and click play, this is something that a lot of people do forget, is that if we walk over to it, nothing's gonna pop up. Uh this one will. But this one won't. And now that is for a very good basic reason. And the basic reason is that we don't have this set to the interact layer. While the paper is set to this interact layer right here, the robot is not. So we have to go ahead and click over here and then select it and set it to interact. Okay, and I'm actually going to make the robot bigger. <laughs> um, and let's go ahead and make this guy just a little bit. What we'll do is we'll actually copy the cube from the body. And we'll paste as new, we'll paste the component values there. That's not gonna work right out. Okay. Um, so we'll basically just do this. A lot easier. Point, point one, point one, point one. That'll get it kind of, and then we'll just point it like that. Point one. Okay, whatever. Um. Anyways, yeah. I would recommend modeling in Blender because we can't really do a lot here. So then now, if we go over, it'll actually show examine. And we have our little robot dude now. We can examine him, put him down, examine, put him down, examine note, put him down, examine the robot. Although you'll notice that he does a little bit of a flip there. That's just because it's set to 90. We'll just go ahead and set that to zero. And then, there we go, like that. So now, make sure you just set that back to zero like that. And, yeah. That is basically all you have to do for interactable objects. You can make anything in the world interactable, which is really fun. Uh, literally anything you can make this world interactable. Watch, I'll show you what I mean. You can literally make anything in this world interactable. Like, watch, I'll show you what I mean here. You can, any anything, anything at all. Even the level. Maybe. Let's, let's see what happens. Yep. 
See? You can interact with the level even. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this uh, tutorial. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.